Let's go. You ain't bulking if you're a monster and not eating turkey, pumpkin, that. What the heck is this? But I think you should come and take a ride. See the world through my eyes. Every day is a surprise. So I party like my birthday. LA is my birthplace. First place, west side. Loud as I want to be. Alright, before we get on with our day, we're trying to make it a point to always give you guys some knowledge or some tips because we've noticed a lot of people like that. We have relatable posts, we're inspirational, but we also really help with education. So one thing I really want to throw you guys away before we get, we're going to be hitting deadlifts today, maybe get some donuts, we'll see what's up. Probably going to have to leave Kyle so he can go to school and then we'll meet up later. We'll deal with that. So one thing I really want to talk about, especially with the season, is with the change of weather and everything, a lot of people can really get derailed from the things they are motivated to do in the summer. You might be done competing, cutting, etc., etc., and motivation might be at an all-time low. So in order to keep your motivation high, one thing I really find is to hold yourself accountable to your scheduling and your goals. So you got to make sure you're sticking to your goals. We always talk about this when we're gonna. I'm going to continue to because if you're not doing that, and especially in the fall, if you start to wake up later, skip a workout here, skip a workout there, you won't notice you've fallen off a cliff till you fall off. So you, it's not like that though. It's not linear and then you just stop. It's You'll slowly start slipping and slipping. So what you want to do is just force yourself and say like, am I slipping anywhere in my life, be it my education, my relationships, my fitness, my personal health, and whatever you can do to stop that, just stick to your routines, be yourself, and be obsessed with success, and then you'll really help yourself move forward. What'd you get, Liam? I got my donut over here, and there's my other one over there that Kyle knocked over, he's an idiot. Hey! <laughs> Donuts! <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> OP, this is like Krispy Kreme. My, that looks beautiful. It is, bro. It's the best. Dude, get the bacon one. No, I'm never gonna get that in my life. It, it's actually really good, but it's not like a good pre-workout donut. You can't go wrong with the raspberry, man. Ever. Wow. Deadlift power. What do you get? Ooh. Oh. Glaze croissant? But it's like, uh, it's like Halloween, eh? It's it's like, it is. What's even in it? Boss, oh, Boston cream? Lost? Yes. No, it's lost hopes and dreams. Excuse me? Holy HD. Today's a huge day because this big guy is going to deadlift his first 600. Hopefully it goes well and we have no injuries. Ah! What, the what are you going to pull today? I don't know. That was so average. What would Grant Cardone say? Grant Cardone would say I'd pull, if you normally pull 500, you pull uh, 5,000, 10, 10 times that. You know why? Because if you study for 10 hours, Grant Cardone says study 100 hours, because obviously 100 is better than 10. Be 10 obsessed X. or be average? Just like me with friggin' Kyle, I'm obsessed with him. Buddy, this guy got a, you guys got better ones than me, but I'm an OG. <laughs> it's been a minute since we just deadlifted for fun. Usually we're out here hitting specific numbers, but we're just screwing around. It's been chill. Kyle's gonna get some heavy pulls here. I'm gonna what? Check out how we're getting a rolling shots, bro. <laughs> Nothing left for me to do Then run and act myself a fool No point in 
going like rep for rep, two reps for two reps, just having a good time like matching each other's lifts. That's the way we do it. You can have like a door over there. <laughs> so I came super close to dunking. I think I just couldn't because I deadlifted into the box jumps, but it's a good goal. Messed up my hand. I just gotta commit with the ball. But it's cool to see our jumps improve. This guy got on. Yeah, we're uh, we'll put the Snapchat clips up right now. Yeah, we'll put them in. So for those of you who've been following us on Snapchat, Instagram, everything like that, YouTube, you guys will see that we have been jumping every day, whether it's over a hurdle, a box, a rock, something weird like that. A lot of people like to do a squat a day. We've been doing a box jump a day, hashtag jump a day. Um, and one thing that I find very relatable, as much as I wanna like be able to jump up to five feet and really like grow my vertical, I think there's a message behind being able to do something like that. Um, one of the things that Josh and myself have been talking a lot about is that you've just got to commit and that's like your everyday life when you want to start up a business when you want to you know become like get in a relationship like one of the biggest things is just learning to commit and for those of you who are you know looking at a box and you're just like deep down you're like no I can't do it or like you're only like 90% in you're gonna fail no matter what so for me I just like to approach like everything that I'm gonna jump like 100% all in like just commit and you will be able to achieve it and that's just the way it is, so I thank you guys so much for watching the video. We're going to get on with our day, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.